Hello everyone, in this video we will learn different ways by which we can traverse a binary search tree. Tree traversals can be mainly divided into breadth first traversals and depth first traversal. In breadth first traversal we have level order traversal and in depth first traversal we have pre-order traversal, in-order traversal and post-order traversal. So let's try to understand them one by one. So let's start with level order traversal. Suppose this is the binary search tree given to us and we have to perform level order traversal. As we know level order traversal is breadth first traversal and in this method we traverse the tree level by level starting at level 0 and within the same level we move from left to right. So first let's classify our tree into various levels starting with root node as level 0 Moving forward, node 3 and node 10 will be at level 1, node 1, 6 and 14 will be at level 2 and finally node 4, 7 and 13 will be at level 3. So starting with level 0, as there is only one node at this level, we will simply print 8. Next we move on to level 1 and as there are two nodes 3 and 10 at this level, we will start from left and move towards right. So first we print 3 and then we print 10. And similarly we move on to the next level which has three nodes 1, 6 and 14. Starting from left we first print 1, then we print 6 and finally we print 14. Now we move on to our last level which is level 3 and starting from left we first print 4, then we print 7 and finally we print 13 which is the last node and we are done with our level order traversal. Now let's look at pre-order traversal using the same example. First of all we know that pre-order traversal is a depth first traversal that is we will start at the root node and we will move down until we reach a leaf node and in this method we follow this rule node left right where node specifies that if we are at a node we will print its value and mark it as traverse and then we will move to its left child and when there is no left child, we will move to its right child. So let's actually do this to understand it. We start with the root node and as we are at a node, we print its value that is 8, which means we have traversed this node. So let's strike it off. And looking at the rule, we know that now we have to move to its left child. That is the node containing value 3. And now again, we are at a node. So we will print its value that is 3 and we will strike it off as we have traversed this node and now again looking at our rule we need to move left so we move to the node containing value 1 and again we are at a node which is not traversed so we will print its value that is 1 and we will strike it off as we have traversed this node now looking at our rule we need to move left but node 1 has no left child and if there is no left child, according to our rule, we need to move right, but there is no right child as well. So what we will do is, we will move a node up, that is, we will move to node 3. And now for this node, we will check our rule. Now as this node is already traversed, and all the nodes to its left are also traversed, so according to the rule, we have to move right. So we move right to node 6 and again looking at our rule we are at a node so we print its value that is 6 and we strike it off which means we have traversed this node and now we will move left to the node containing value 4. Now again looking at the rule for this node we print its value that is 4. So we strike it off and now according to our rule we can't move left as it has no left child and we can't move right as it has no right child. So we move a node up and we reach the node 6. Now we again look at the rule. For the node we have already traversed it. We have also traversed its left. So now we will go to its right child. That is node 7. So we print its value that is 7. We strike it off and we see that it does not have a left and a right child. So we are supposed to move a node up but if we observe we have already traversed the left and the right of node 6 and node 3 
So we can directly move up to node 8 and as we have already traversed this node and its left subtree, we will move to its right subtree according to our rule. So we'll move to node 10 and we will print its value and we will strike it off as we have traversed this node. And now we are supposed to move to its left child but as there is no left child, so we will move to its right child that is 14. We will print its value and we will strike it off and mark it as traversed. And finally we will move to its left child that is 13 and we will print its value and we will mark it as traverse. And we are done with our pre-order traversal. We will cover in-order and post-order traversals in the next video. Thank you for watching.